So I I think when I was in high school, I ch- I chose the number ten. Um, I think my sophomore year because that was kind of all that was available. I always wanted eight. I always wanted a Kobe number, but they didn't have that. You know, Kobe that was like his era where he was becoming like you know this whole big icon. So eight was always taken. So I always chose ten, and then the next year I think Steve Nash got MVP of the league, and he was a player I kind of idolized at that time because at that time I was still a small player, like I was really skinny, you know, I was shorter, um, and so I kind of idolized him because I'm like, wow, if Steve Nash could get MVP in it in the NBA, him being so small compared to like players like Shaq and all these other players, like why can't I do that? So I kind of idolized his game at that time, especially how he passed the ball, how he came off pick and rolls at three. Um, so I, that's when I got number three. Um, and then uh, since then, it, it's been like a long time for me. I know a lot of people don't like the number that because it's supposedly unlucky, but for me, it's been lucky, and it's also been easy because, like, you know, don't like 13. So when I go to a team, usually 13 is available. You know what I mean? So uh, I always stick with 13, and it hasn't it hasn't done me wrong yet because everywhere, every team I've been to, I won a championship. I've won a championship in high school, college, came here, won a championship in the D League, won a championship with Rain and Shine. Hopefully, I can win a championship with the Birds. So. 